What's up, everybody? This is Validal. We're playing Conan Exiles on the Tenor Wolf server. Uh, as you notice, I've got some different looking clothes. Well, let me tell you a little story. I recorded us completing a journey step. Dungeon Delver doing the Black Keep. Alright, and as you notice, I've actually got that completed. Well, here's the thing. Apparently, PlayStation Network or system freaking glitched up, and I lost all that recording. And did not realize that until I went to go edit it. So, I, did, I went ahead and I uh, made new armor sets and everything. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to actually unlock all these. I am wearing Redeemed Legion. Three sets of that. The reason why I'm only wearing three sets of it is because weapon damage 8%, weapon damage 8%, health 48, and then I kept 3% from the uh, pants and boots. So I mixed and match. And as you notice, they're all frosty, so I've got them looking cosmetic. All right, so uh, now that I explained that, I'm going to go ahead and redo this video again and show you everything I did in that video. We're going to go do the Black Keep. And when we do that, we're going to be traveling all the way up here to the Bridge of the Betrayer or what we call the Ice Bridge. I'm going to show you just underneath it to where to get Frost Lotus. And then we're going to go ahead and complete the Black Keep, which will take a little bit of time. So I'm going to go ahead, let you all go, and br bring you all back when we get there. All right, guys. We're here. That is the Bridge of the Betrayer. I've gone across it. Well, I really didn't go across it. I had the, I had the uh, obelisk, so I just went ahead and took that. If you go underneath the bridge on the Black Keeper part, which you can see right here on the map, or right here, here's the Black Keep, and here's the Bridge of the Betrayer. Right here underneath the bridge, you're gonna find Frost Lotus, pretty white flowers. I'd like to throw a big shout out to Phantom Troop for putting up a uh, map room over here. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go get ourselves inside it. And you know what? We'll aggro these guys too. Or my Sumerian Berserker will. All right. There we go, they're dead. I'll take that. Alright. There's the black keep. The moment you cross that bridge... I thought someone was coming for me. The moment you cross that bridge right up these stairs, the obelisk is going to be right here. Just run up to it and attune to it. Then I usually take the path to the right. Just gonna run all the way to the top. Not gonna worry about any of this other trash. Except for that one. Oh, he hits me. And each one of their hits causes corruption too, so that sort of sucks. Now we're gonna turn right at the top, go up these stairs, kill these guys on the left. Alright, once you kill those two guys on the left, you're going to go up the stairs. I don't see another way up here from over there, so I could be wrong. Yeah, like you might be able to get up over there. But, you got, just go straight in. Hey. 
And this is where it'll say you discovered the black keep. All right, we're going in. What are you doing? Are you falling? Swimming? Because you're sure as hell not walking. And you do it when I tell you to move, too. Alright, this is what we got here. First floor, there's nothing much here. Backside, same as the front. I really don't mess with it. Last time I tried to record this, I got lucky and I just ended up going straight through it. But we're going to take this left path. And we're going to punch the skeletons because we're dumb and we didn't equip our axe. Just gonna go through. And uh, yep. Turn right, I believe. That pathway is like partially open. I wonder what's in there. No clue. Alright. Let's keep going. Uh Yep. When you find stairs going up, that's when you know you're going in the right direction. Usually there's always a chest right here. Nothing good. Sometimes you'll find a sorcerer scroll sitting on that box. Let's go ahead and take a little swig of water. Oh look, I didn't know there was a treasure chest there. But I guess there's a treasure chest there. Now we all know. Alright. Uh, dude, I ran this not too long ago, and I can't remember. I think we want to go this way. And there's ghosts inside the cages. Can't do nothing with them, so I don't know why they pop in. Free me, free me, you're dead. Sorry. open this door and I can't remember this is the part that confuses me oh and this is where I actually DC'd fighting all these spiders come on spiders let's go I'm lucky I didn't die here because they were all targeting leftovers Can't climb here. All right, the spiders are dead. There's real. There's nothing here. I don't believe there's anything here. Oh, which way is the path I need to take? This is where you need the key. And I've got, nope, that's not it. I've got the key. So I need to show you all where to get the key. So maybe I was wrong going that way.
No, nope, that's not the chest. This is it. This is where you get the key. Ooh. Oh, oh! I'm getting spanked! They're trying to molest me. They don't like my new outfit. Oh, that hurt. Alright. The key you're going to get right here. Just press square and it'll say, I already have the key. But it will say, you received the ancient key. So that's the key you need. What's back here? I don't remember. Oh, this is a dead end with a chest. Ooh, what do we got here? Crystalline Guardian Torso. I will take that. So this is just a dead end. Yeah, that's not a door. Uh, those aren't doors. But that's a door. So now we have to backtrack to where we were before. Yep, but uh, what well, the? Uh oh. Yep, this is it. Okay. That ancient key will open up this door. And now we got more stairs going up. This place is easy to get lost in. And all I keep hearing are doors going opening and closing. Opening and closing. And there's the boss. Last time I fought him, I didn't even get a thrall out here. I think, uh... I think Leftovers was stopping the thrall from getting in here. But as you tell, not that hard. Boom, he's dead. I went ahead and I looted all. You're going to cut him up. There you go. All right, what you want from this, a uh, heart of the kin scourge, a heart ripped from the chest of the commander of the Silent Legion. But what you really want is the tears of two races. That is the end game item right there. You come here to the middle, there's going to be an obelisk here. Pride of the Silent Legion, kin scourge weapons, light Silent Legion armor, medium Silent Legion armor. Ooh. That is the armor set I'm wearing, or three of the pieces. Actually, I, cos I cosmetically made it look like the light armor set, so that's what it looks like. If you go to the left and right, there's also tablets there. It's the same thing. Oh, I can't kill that guy with my hatchet. But I will take that skull. And the tablet right here same thing no tablet here but there's another tablet on the other side if you don't believe me I'll show you and it's right here so you can learn it from either side it's all the same stuff oh this one's got two one on each side. Alright, so... Then after that, you can take the fast way down, which is what I do. And what I also do is I'll hit that chest up on my way down. 
I won't take the brimstone. And that's it. And then jump all the way down to the water. Oh. That's not a door. I thought both sides were open. Take a potion from dropping. And now you're over here. This isn't the way out. You end up on the other side, so. See, there's the water down there. This is the way out over here. So it's that fast, that simple. Taking you through it. Uh, when we get back, I will show you all the armor sets. I will even remake the heavy armor pieces so you could see what they look like and see all their stats, buffs, and everything. All right. So see you when we get back to base. Yeah, right, guys, we're back at base, and I'm ready to show you this armor. <laughs> Uh, I'll let y'all know right now what I am wearing right now is the light legion armor the helmets pretty much look the same so I don't have the light one anymore because like I said I cosmetically changed all my armor to look like the light armor the light legion armor uh, let's see if you look at I have, here is a heavy armor, heavy, heavy, nope, you're down here, heavy and heavy. That's what the heavy armor looks like, and that's what my top and my helmet, my chest and my gloves, that's what they would look like normally, but they don't. Because I actually, I'm actually wearing Redeemed Legion ones. They look just like it. If you want to look at the stats, uh, the boots have a carry capacity of 21. Uh, the health of the gloves, the gloves increase health by 28. The helm increases weapon damage by 5%. Oh. The pauldrons increase weapon damage by 5%. And the pants increase stamina 7%. Now, the reason I weren't redeemed is because the stats are a bit better. See, like the boots on this redeemed heavy armor, 36 carry capacity, which is funny because that's the same for the medium. And I believe it was the same for the light as well. The redeemed actually has the same qualities as this medium armor. So let me go ahead and take all this off. And we'll put the medium armor on there. That's the light helmet because I didn't want to use the... That's what the light helmet looks like. Just cloth covering the ma mouthpiece, horns, and the helmet. not what I went for I just went for earrings so let me put the medium armor on that's what the medium armor looks like which I mean yeah that looks like it would be medium armor just like my armor set looks like it would be light armor it looks most of its cloth but if you look at the stats carry capacity to the boost is 36 strength weapon which I don't understand why medium is gear is better than the heavy armor but yet you can make the redeemed which cost a little bit more mats and they'll have the same stats as the medium armor but be heavy armor but the gauntlets increase your strength de weapon damage 8% your helmet increases stamina by 12% 12, 12 agility weapon 8% your health by 48 I mean, I see, 
Redeem Tacit, increased stamina, 17. So that part is different from it, but the boots, I believe, are the same, 36 and 36. So there is stat change within each one of them and each piece. So like the helmet, Redeem Legion helmet, Weapon strength, 8%. That's different from the other ones. Yeah. That's different from... Yeah. Well, it's the same as the heavy armor, but 3% more. The chest, increased strength weapon by 8%. And then the gloves, increased health by 48%. Like, see, the gloves on the regular ones are 28, but you go to the medium. Let's see, they got one that increases health, don't they? There it is. The tacit increases your health by 48. So, you get the stats of the freaking medium armor, but you get the armor value of the heavy armor. Let me show you what they cost. I mean, it's, and if you have a named ar armor on your bench, you will, and you learn, read that tablet, you'll automatically learn the redeemed armor, which is what I'm wearing. Well, some of the pieces are. And it takes perfect heavy padding, star metal, black ice, and alchemical base to make the perf redeemed. Alright, and then let's head down to the Silent Legion. Go down to S's. RS, there we go. Okay, so like the Silent Legion. The Silent Legion. Uh, this one is the heavy boots. It takes perfected heavy padding, star metal, black ice, and alchemical base. Alright, and all the heavy armor is the same. The chest and pants are below it for some odd reason, but they're the same as well. You come over here to light armor, you get perfected light padding, star metal, layered silk. And all that is the same. For medium, perfected medium padding, star metal, and hardened leather. And all those are the same. So it's not that bad if you have everything. And I need to clean my place up, don't I? Doesn't cost that much after everything that we do, but I went ahead, I kept the Redeem armor and transmogged it to look like the light armor. I told you I'd, I'd like to try and find skimpy armor for my character to wear. I might end up looking for different pants, find something different there, and gloves. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, the shoulder parts are part of the chest. Yeah. Sometime I might. No promises. But I went ahead and I used yellow and blue, I believe. Let me see. Can't even remember. Oh, and crimson red. For your, I used the yellow on the metal, the blue on the cloth, and the crimson red on uh, the leather. I wanted something that looked a little different, make me look skimpy. They may think I'm easy, but I'm actually not. All right, guys. Well, that was the black keep. Sorry you didn't get to see the journey steps actually complete. Thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed this, hit that like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to post content as often as I can. Thank you. Bye. PlayStation.